The California School for the Deaf in Riverside is celebrating its first CIF state title with a parade. Yeah, the school went undefeated all season long and won the championship 80 to 26 against Faith Baptist. It's a huge accomplishment for such a small school. So let's check in with KTLA Shelby Nelson live in Riverside with more. Shelby, how was that parade? Oh, it was awesome. You had lots of support and this team definitely has some bragging rights out here. It was the first year that they played after being bumped to a Division One program. So naturally, when that happens, you have more competitive teams that you're playing against. But even so, they still came out on top as CIF champs. <laughs> It's a perfect ending to a perfect season. Well, I wish we had like champagne like an NFL team. However, we can't do that. It's, it's really nice to see, you know, the community brought together. The California School for the Deaf's football team in Riverside going undefeated before claiming an impressive CIF eight player state championship with a final score 80 to 26. It's the first of its title in any sport in the school's 70 year history. <laughs> So there's lots to celebrate with students and staff coming out cheering on the newly appointed champs in all their glory. It's, it's strange, you know, how often do you have that opportunity to lose the state championships and then also win against them the same year? It's like that sweet revenge. It was a year of redemption. The team also went undefeated last season before a heartbreaking loss for the championship title playing against the same team, Faith Baptist Christian School of Canoga Park. We were angry. So I said, okay, watch out for us next year. So this time we had no injuries and we got bigger, we got stronger. We knew what we needed to do. And especially against the same team, bring it on. Let me show, let me show you how it's done. We were confident that we were going to win this year because this was unfinished business for us. Head coach Keith Adams didn't allow last year's devastating loss to determine this year's fate. In fact, it was about fighting through the adversity on and off the field. Football is a great way to educate the public that deaf people can play anything they set their mind to. It's the only thing they can't do is here. Our bodies are the same. They have to work just as hard as anyone else does. They thought that we couldn't be in the championship game. We can play the game, we can play football, and we can play it at a high level. The small team making a big impact, now ranked ninth in the nation. And last year, the team's inspiring story made headlines. Coach Adams and some of the team's players were honored at Super Bowl 56 at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. And what, it, what, what a dream it was for all of them, something that they can all cross off their bucket lists.